Matithyahu, Matthew 13. The same day went Yahusha out of the house and sat by the seaside. And the great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spoke many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith, they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground, and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. And the Talmudim came and said unto him, Why speak you unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is not, rather, it is given unto you, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of Yahweh, but to them it is not given. For whosoever has, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever has not, from him shall be taken away, even that he has. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they, seeing, see not, and hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Yeshayahu, which says, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should turn back, and I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see and your ears, for they hear. For amen, I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see at those things which at you see, rather, which ye at see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them, Hear ye, F, therefore, the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and understands it not, then comes the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received seed by the way side. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that hears the word, and immediately with joy receives it, yet has he not root in himself, but endures for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. He also that received seed among the thorns is he that hears the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches 
choke the word, and he becomes unfruitful. But he that received seed into the good ground is he that hears the word and understands it, which also bears fruit and brings forth some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of Yahweh is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the house of Yahuwah came and said unto him, Sir, did not you sow good seed in your field? From whence then has it tares? He said unto them, An enemy has done this. The servants said unto him, Will you then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay. Lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, rather, of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of Yahweh is like to a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all seeds, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs, and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. Another parable spoke he unto them, The kingdom of Yahuwah is like unto leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till the whole was leavened. All these things spoke Yahusha unto the multitude in parables, and without a parable spoke he not unto them. That it might be fulfilled at which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. Then Yahusha sent the multitude away and went into the house, and his Talmudim came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. He answered and said unto them, He that sows the good seed is the son of Adam. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The son of Adam shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do transgress the Torah, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be weeping, rather wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of Yahweh is like unto treasure hid in a field, the which when a man has found, he hides, 
and for joy thereof goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of Yahuwah is like unto a merchant man, seeing goodly pearls, rather, seeking goodly pearls, who, when he has found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of Yahuwah is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which, when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Yahusha said unto them, Have ye understood all these things? They say unto him, Yea, Adonai. Then said he unto them, Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of Yahuwah is like unto a man that is a householder, which brings forth out of his treasure things new and old. And it come, came to pass that when Yahusha had finished these parables, he departed thence. And when he was come into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, so much so that they were astonished and said, Whence has this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Miriam, and his brethren Yaakov, and Yosef, and Shimon, and Yahuda? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Whence then has this man all these things? And they were offended in him. But Yahusha said unto them, the prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. And he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief.